what it makes is a mega dragon. It is Ben. Okay, it just went all the all the way here. Surprisingly enough, I thought I was gonna start at the main selection, but it actually started here. Surprisingly. Welcome. Oops, that does not work. Welcome to Banjo Tui. The last time that we've ever done this, we have beaten the final boss, which I have a test to do on the final boss, meaning I'm testing something for the final boss. Since I have the the file, I'm hoping that I was that I copied well I definitely did copy the file, I just hope I played the right one. That I'm planning on testing something for one of the bosses is and that one of the bosses is the final boss because I know that won't be available when I play against them on the rematches but that's not what we're doing in this video I'm just saying what will happen in the next bonus video actually the next bonus video that I'm thinking about doing is something that I thought about saying to you guys which is I am going to do Banjo Kazooie and Tui today. That's why I'm recording. But then I'm playing Donkey Kong 64 as well. So there might be a bit of editing going on between the two. Quite a bit more Donkey Kong 64 related than for Banjo Kazooie and Tui. Because the only thing I'm editing for Banjo Kazooie and Tui is this whip swapping between the two. Because the. Thing I'm doing for Banjo Kazooie is something that I'll discuss in the game. In this game. Technically, in this game, for the first episode of the bonuses, we are doing mini games from my least favorite to most favorite opinion. Like, like I'm. Like, it's in my opinion for what is my least favorite and most favorite. And I am also doing every round of. The kickball tournament and I'm going to tell you guys what I dislike and what I like so welcome to the first episode of Banjo Tui's bonuses the longest bonus that we will well the bo longest bonuses that we will ever see three videos Donkey Kong 64 is the second longest which is two videos of bonuses we are only going to do the replay mini games. What we and there are all of these to choose from. And all of these I am going to pick from least favorite to most favorite. You want to know what my least favorite mini game is? And I am going to show my opinion on all of these trash can germs is my first one i don't like this mini game at all it's so it was so hard the la the first time i've done it because you had to do it with kazooie only and that was hard for me to figure out it was good that they decided to let my score be lower but i am being honest that i don't even like this mini game that much it was a bit it was probably not as bad as in Donkey Kong 64 where you had to try to get every fly from the trash can. But it was, it was like second worst compared to it. You'll see why. Welcome to Guffo's Luxury Trash Can. I'm safe from eviction now, but you can still play for fun. Do you need any advice? I am actually going to share the advice, so if you don't want to see this, you can skip the advice part, however long you would believe. I'll give you 60 seconds to exterminate as many filthy, horrible germs as possible. Killing our germs worth one, green ones worth two, and the blue ones are worth three. Got 60 seconds to beat none. Which surprises me that they let you beat none, while in the main story you have to beat, beat 15 points worth, I think. You can see how it was really hard for me last time. I was able to figure it out this time around. Though it's still really hard for me. Uh, I'll 
only have two health. 20 health. I mean, 20 points. And I'm not editing any of these un unless I fail. I'm just gonna try to beat 30. Because I think that's like the highest points I need. I'm not even gonna try this again. Got 49. I almost got 50. Wow, that's worth 49 points. is now a new record. How about another? No. It's softlock. Why did it softlock here? Apparently when I said no, he just softlocked the game. He's like, okay, fine. How about softlock? Gosh darn it. Why the heck did he do that? <sighs> well, at least you guys get to have the game fully launched this time, and I'm hoping this time when I say no, it doesn't freaking crash. Because apparently when I said no to the germ guy, he just freaking, he just got so mad that he crashed the game himself. Maybe because the trash can was just making the game go weird. So... I am going to play my second least favorite mini game. Yes, you will see what that is after this loading screen. And for Banjo Kazooie, I'm going to be discussing a lot that I wasn't able to discuss before. Even though I already discussed a lot before, but it's something to explain about what I'm planning to do by bonuses and explaining what will happen after the bonuses and just discussing every video that will happen future viewers you would probably not get it but you'll see but for present viewers you'll know by what i mean so my next least favorite mini game and this is just as this is just an opinion of mine my second least favorite mini game is actually pretty dang close to the trash can challenge and it is I'm thinking either clinkers or or dynamite but the dynamite one wasn't that bad so I'm going to try clinkers I'm gonna to try to do it within 200 seconds I didn't like this one because it, it was a freaking maze I didn't remember if the Y axis was. If I fail to do it in 200 seconds, I'll do it again. Oops. This is gonna be a maximum focus mode though. Ah, uh, it's so hard to freaking aim, what the heck? I heard it, where the heck is it? Alright. There it is. wasn't supposed to be here yet. Beaten half within the time that I was hoping to beat them in. Uh, okay. Ouch, come you, man. Hope 
hoping I am doing well. Darn it, I fell off. This is the same place I went to as well. Oh, there was one that I missed. And there's one nearby that I missed. Somewhere around here. I freaking hate this. Screw it, I'm not gonna beat it within 200 seconds. I'm gonna try to beat them in 300 seconds instead. And even if I fail that, then I'm just going to reset. How am I losing this many already? This is not making sense. can hear this guy over here. Oh, whatever. That was one of them I uh, missed. Oh, duh. How am I getting only nine within this time? And I forgot about this one too. There's one underneath me, but I want to see if there's others. I missed one. Of course, this is not the one I'm missing. Come on, get him. Two more. One more. Right there. One hundred sixty nine seconds. And your cleanup record has been achieved. I don't want to do it again, but I 
That's a new record because last time I think I did it in like 182 seconds. Pretty much the only ones I have left are Mayan Kickball, Coliseum Kickball, Dodge Gems, Hoop Hurry, Balloon Burst, Saucer of Pearl, Mini Sub Challenge is what I might do, Jumpa, and then Twinkly's Packing, Coliseum. I already said that. Pato Gold and Zuba's Hive. Zuba's Hive was close. It was a close one compared to the sub. So I'm doing sub first and then Zuba Hive. Well, well, back for some more target practice. Uh, the feeble best score so far is 91 points. I'm sure you won't be able to beat that. I'll try my best. I don't remember how. I don't remember what first person is. I'm not gonna be able to beat it. I'm actually gonna try this again to try to beat my high score. But say, that score of 88 points didn't beat the high score of 91 points. Do you wanna try again? I'm gonna do one more. I mean, can't, and I can't skip this text. There we go. I'm almost impressed. You managed to get a new high score of 97 points. I know you guys are like, try again to try to beat 100, but I'm not, but I'm not gonna do it. I've never done it before, so now I'm off to the Zuba Hive. Honestly, not remembering what I have to do there. I'm pretty sure I might know, but I'm just gonna make, I'm just gonna see. Greetings, Isaac. You are back to play our little shooting game. The best scores do the highest. I don't know because I can't read it fast. Personal best is just zero. Forty-five isn't too bad. Congratulations! You managed to beat that. Get a new best score of forty-five points. You want to play again? Nah, I'm fine. It's only a 
close second because they're moving this time and that's slightly harder. Next one I'm choosing is Balloon. And I chose that next because it's actually pretty much more nostalgic than the others. Like, I like this one a lot more. Welcome back to the Balloon Burst Challenge. You have 60 seconds to beat your high score of zero points. You want to hear the rules again? No! I forgot you can press and hold C here. I think it could in the other one as well, but didn't want to didn't want to risk it in case I wasn't able to. This one I'm gonna try to beat a hundred again, or sixty was the score from the achievements. Gosh darn it. Congratulations! I'm gonna try it one more time. If I don't beat 60, that's fine too. That was a weird one. That was a weird sound I heard. Oh, I can actually skip the dialogue this time. I'm at least gonna beat 51. And then I'll be, and then I'll be fine if I don't beat 60. I am so close. Okay, never mind. Ah, 60 points. I was hoping to beat 60, but I got actual 60. Not gonna bother playing that again. I said I was gonna beat 60, but I got 60 instead. Pretty much the next thing I'm going to do is because my most favorite mini game I like to play is this one, tied with the Tower of Tragedy quiz, and I'm doing that one last. So. I'm going to do the kickball stadiums next. And I'm actually going to do all of these. Quarterfinal rematch. Married the best Johnny win. Got it. You beat them again. Scored 60 points, a new best score. I like how he just said, you beat them again.
Nailed it. Well, I definitely didn't win this one. Failed. They got you this time. I like them both pretty much the same. I hope I'm doing this right. Because I swear the Coliseum Kickball one is, you have to try to get the lowest score possible. Nailed it. You're too good. You beat them all again. <laughs> I was lucky. The balls kept getting closer to me. That was lucky. I almost got like a 22 points. That would have been actually pretty funny because it would have been 22, 33, 44. All by 11s. I just kept getting lucky there. That surprises me. Never got that lucky before. Oh, come on.
Oh, I'm trying to kick the ball in their goal. Dang it. Ha, the champion wasn't so good that time. Perfect. No points. You're too good. You beat them all again. You scored zero points. A new best score. That was perfect. That time I was goalie and it actually worked out. And now my next minigame is going to be... I don't want to do Twinkly's packing yet, so I'm going to do... Hoop hurry, and then I'll do Twinkly's packing and then pot of gold. Welcome to the Hoop Hurry Challenge. I can beat 50. Come on. Oh, screw it. Oh, jeez, I didn't even think that worked. Six points. That's nice. Not gonna play that again. I'm satisfied with my score there. And now I'm doing the twinkly packing. I like this minigame a lot actually, so I'm going to do Pot of Gold first. This is still my Pot of Gold game. Just shoot loads of chickens really quick. I'll give you 45 seconds to beat the pathetic high score of 94. Ready? Are you, how am I missing? I got exactly 94. That was terrible because I just somehow missed the bottom. Nailed it. Okay, you shot all 143 seconds. So now you all you can do is try and do it faster. How about another go? No. I'm satisfied by getting every jiggy there. And now I'm doing the Twinkly's packing. And then I'm doing the Saucer of Pearl. And then I'm doing... The Tower of Tragedy. Actually, I'll, I'll do Chompa first, and then the Tower of Tragedy, and then that will be it. 
current packing high score is 49 points. Would you like a reminder of what the rules are? No! Somehow I completely forgot about dodgems. I should have done that before doing this. Best score for the Twinkly Packing Challenge is now 54 points. Apparently I got that down to the wire. I didn't even pay attention to the time. And now I'm doing dodgems because it's hilarious. And I have to and I'm doing all of these. And then I'm doing the saucer of pearl. And then I'm doing Chompa and then I'm doing the Tower of Tragedy. And then I'm going to do Banjo Kazooie. Whack the bad! I just love the twinklings going like wow 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 Okay, good. I did not get 69 that time. 76. I even beat 75. Not bad for a fairy school. Oh, you scored 76 points. A ah, new best score for the 1 versus 1 challenge. No, I do not want to play again. I'm doing 2v1, then I'm doing 3v1. My word, I beat 76 that time. 91, I beat 90. You're not as useless as you look. You scored 91 points. I knew best score for the 2v1. That just makes me wonder what I will get on the 3v1. Probably not me beating my score. It would be hilarious if I actually got 69. Doubt, doubting that will happen. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Ah, oh, Jay! Ah! I'm stuck! There. Now I found my way around them. And oh, never mind. Thought I did, but. Somehow then mm. Oh jeez. I beat fifty. I suppose that wasn't too bad. I scored fifty two points. A new best score for the three.
Remember that I had to beat 40 on the main story, but I'm satisfied that I beat 50. Now I'm doing... It's either Saucer of Peril or Champa. I'm doing Saucer of Peril first, because Champa is actually one of my favorites. Goal is I'm going to try to beat 500 points or 450 points. When the crosshair appears, press L, Z, or R, T to fire at the targets to score points. Blue targets are worth three, green are two, and red are only one. Bleep. <laughs> I have to beat 508. I love this mini games too too much and I'm not turning off my commentary, it's mainly focus mode. But although I love it too much, it's a very close second to my most favorite game. Most favorite mini game. I'm just doing Tower of Tragedy last because quizzes up to me are always fun. Because I love just being silly by the guesses. Whee! Oh, my voice crack sucks! Oh, jeez. That was bad. I hope I, I hope this is fine. Even if I beat my score by one, that will be hilarious and satisfying. This isn't too bad. 412 is fine. I feel like. <laughs> oh, gosh darn it. I only got one of those. Yes, I did. I beat my personal best. Not by one, but by two. Yes. Nice shooting. You scored 510 points. I knew best score. You'd win a prize if I had any left. Blip. Hi. I stink. Compos, I'm Wario tonight. Champa, my most favorite minigame in the game overall. Got your jumps in time to sort out those nasty germs again. Your best score is currently 107 points. Would you like to hear the rules again? No. Time to go crazy. Not even turn up the audio volume this time. I'm just going to turn up my own volume. Machine gun.
Oh, come on. At least let me beat it by a few bits. Oh, yeah. Your new best score for the stomach girls out of town is no 116 points. Do you want to play a game? No. 116 is by far my best score yet because off screen I've never gotten that high of a score. Thankfully, I got it now. Meaning, I've beaten my score since off screen, which is awesome. That's what I mean by thank goodness I've done it. Now I'm doing Counter Tragedy, and that's it for Banjo Tui. And the next game I'm playing is Banjo Kazooie, where I'll be discussing a lot of things. Yes, I know this video is freaking long. Welcome. It's my town tragedy just for fun round one. Do you need the rules? No! Let's start with round one again. Take a look at the screen. Burp. Five. Done. Stick out. Anyone else? How many brown floor slabs are there? Beep, beep. Scavenger. Who's, who lives in the ginger village? Master Jiggy Wiggy. The gingers. Fair enough. Beep. Take a look at this scene. A, a silver star. Oh, yep, I know it. I know what this was. And there's men doing get inside the kickball stadium and mayhem tempo. This guy says that's dumb, man. But, but I was the guard. I remember that. And with the grenade eggs, he was funnier. Here's a scene from the game. I remember that one. Raises the colors. Not bad. I think that was what does the switch do? Here's a scene from the game. Aha! Spiral Mountain. You mean a lucky guess. That's Grunty's hole. How would I not know? What's the name of World 1? Mayhem Mine. Who goes mine? It's Mayhem Temple. Take a look at the scene. Chuffy the train. It's I think seven here. Nope, I thought so. I thought it was that. Num skull. How many does he see in Chuffy's care? It's freaking six. Only one point though. Which is a weapon used by the flatbird guys inside Cloud Kugel Land. Wait, dang it, I don't remember. Oh, I was right. Wait, bird guys? Those weren't I thought those aren't bird guys. I thought those were puzzle piece guys. Take a look at the seed. I know this one then. It's three. TNT. Is what it might have asked. Let's a jiggy look at which is world spark. It is on top of a planet. Hmm. Okay. Which of these wasn't a problem that Terry Dagon Lance Dinosaur family had? Uh too big. Lucky guess. In Jolly Ranchers Lagoon, which is the name of the wreckage ship in the bottom? The Scurvy Sea Dog. It has no name. It would have been called the Salty Hippo if you let it be. That would have been a neat one. Here's a scene from the game. Jolly. You knew it all. Oh, great. Round one's ended in a draw. So I'll just unfairly select a loser at random. I choose... Blabelda. It's sort of weird because in one of the Tower of Tragedy quizzes, you can actually let Blabelda win against Mingella. I have no idea how because every time Mingella has won against Blabelda. Now how I know that is because when I did round two, Blabelda was there instead of Mangella, which surprised me. But I think this time it's gonna be Mangella. It's my tower of charge. You just for one round two. Do you need the rules? No. Here we go with another round two. 
Yeah, there's Blabella again. How many is... Oh, I do. It's 90. It's 75, freaking I... I am a fool. No, it's... Oh, it is 75. 90 was how many you have to beat. Which is a weapon used by the flat. I I don't even know why they're called bird guys. They're not even birds. There, take a look at this. Scene. Let me see if I get this one. Conga. Nope. But who? Is, oh, dang it. Boggy's kid. No. Yes, Boggy's kids because nobody. What other stupidity? Because no one of them what went in there. Was the world of what was the name of World Three? Witchy World. Not bad. What label did you what did you find on the <laughs> Unlucky guess. Here's a scene from the game. I think I know this one. Mayhem. <clears throat> Lucky guess. What miniature doll is one of the aliens gets holding on half a Banjo. Nope, it was a mo- It's Ninja. It's a Ninja. Ninja. Gosh darn it. I know I'm telling her the answers. I might actually lose here. Take a look at this. See if I get this one. Oh, I don't even know. Oh, I guessed it and was right. <laughs> what does Boggy the polar bear want to eat in the Hellfire Peaks? Oh, fish. Friggin' Fries was the other was the other guy. What was wrong with Terry Dackle Lance? He was. Oh, it's Dippy. Take a look at this scene. The dancer that I love, sh that I love showing. It's Jolly Roger. I was about to get it wrong. Who might you find lurking on the ice side of Hellfire Peaks? Big up, big up butt, big up butt, big a head and big a butt, but big a butt is a hilarious name. Take a look at this scene. Big face. I don't actually know this answer, so I'm just gonna guess. Square. Circular, wasn't it? What shape was the rug on the floor? Scavenger. That's the end of round two. Looks like my sister, Labelda, has also failed to beat that dumb bear. Here's your consolation prize, Blobby. Doesn't make sense how Blobby is even there. Pa! It seems you had the run of luck and somehow won. I bet you won't dare try again. Doing the last round and then I'm ending the second, the Banjo Tui game, and the next thing I'm doing is Banjo Kazooie stop and swap for the Switch. I know it won't really matter too much, but I'm still going to do it anyway. I'll see you guys after this round on Banjo Kazooie. Okay, it's my time of tragedy just for fun. Final round. Give me the rules. No. It's the final round once more. What is the name of the ride outside of the entrance to Witchy World? I always forget this one. That was easy. What can be found in the Alhags Quagmire? The Railway Bridge. Yes, I remember. Gosh darn Nate. Which two areas of Witchy World gets not? Does the Gimble Guard connect to? Space and no parking. Space and Wild West. Spooky and... What? Why is it called Wild West? That doesn't make sense. A friend of King Carrots can find them to Pearl. I don't know, Carrots. No, 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 you idiots. What brand of it? Mary, if you can open their number eight, or I think I'm going to get this one wrong, too. I think it's Spratza. Oh, I got that right, and that was a guess. From D. Jones, all the markers in Florida, what you're going to it. Names of whom? Former American presidents. Oh, this. I, I, I don't know. What is Mr. Patch announcing to uh, S.N. Wiki World? Ridiculous rotund rubber, strange wobbly label thing. I am going to definitely lose this. What's found at the top of the high structure mayhem couple? Jam jar jiggy is the correct answer. 
Wait, Van Joker's away again. Well, there's not seen it, Van Joker's away. On the picture. Gobi's Desert. I remembered. Which, uh, which is called Gobi's Valley. Ding, ding. This world does not have a train station. Jolly Rogers. Hmm. Okay. Why couldn't Jumpy the train travel to the ice side of Elfire Peaks? Tracks can't then kill there. Boiler was too hot. Ran out steam. Fair enough. What is the full name of Cloud Cripple Lance Floater Creature? Lotus Flotia. It's Latin, technically. What is the name of the Dragon Boss brother in Hail Fire Peaks? Chilly Willy. Hotty Totty is a funny one. I wish this was on the Switch so I could take pictures of all the funny answers. A wrench. Easy. <laughs> a pillow is a hilarious one, too. What color are the normal blue eggs? Blue is easy. You just said it. Fair enough. What is the name of the world, too? Let it go to mine. Jolly Rogers' mine is pretty funny. Which is a weapon used by the flat bad guys in that? Oh, they're called flat. I thought they were called flat bird. Dang it, I'm dumb! Watch up, the mantle only moves that activate by pressing on. News pack. I didn't know what. I didn't. I didn't read that right. Unga bungas and Google Googles. Dang it, I didn't even. I, I dang it! I didn't even read what the second answer was. I didn't know the difference. What is Mrs. Bottles' first name? Betty. It was never mentioned, apparently. Which of these moves is learned by Angelic Lodge's Lagoon? Regal Blaster. I don't know. I'm so dumb. Who has a germ problem in his cloud Google and trash can? Trying to press X. I think his name is Guffo. Yep. Not bad. Which item isn't found in Ice Cube and Hellfire Peaks? A Cheeto page. A lucky guess. What was Witchy World's strength based attraction called? Uh, uh, uh. It's a cactus of strength. Use your stick. What's the name of the seasick pirate in Charlie's? Captain Black Eye. What is targets in the Mayan god of? Target shooting. Fair enough. What tool attacks Mantra and Galerigold's mind? A. a shovel, apparently. Cordless drill is a funny one. Which of these is an area in Hailfire Peaks? Boggy's Dead. Crystal Cavern. Isaac. Oh, Crystal Cavern is from Donkey Kong 64! Humba Wumba is Witty World. A van. A kitchen sink. What, what is the color of the revolving lights in Roll of Three? I don't remember. Yellow? I guessed. Yeah, for sure it was lucky. What's the name of the train that travels between the worlds? Chuffy? Puffo? I don't even know what the other one was. What was wrong with the aliens as you were falling jolly like this? Let's go! Had run off fuel. Foggy the polar bear has given up sled racing to do what? Watch TV. Honestly, a lazy choice. What spell does Mumbo perform in Witchy World? Levit. No. Power. I'll accept that. What is the name of Jolly Roger's partner in Jolly Roger's Lagoon? Happy Haggy. Happy Mac. Mary Maggie. What can Tumba Wumba change Metro into? A bee, a crocodile. Don't you dare to underestimate Mr. Vile. What mind related feature is not related? A power. No. A rail track. Nope. A drill. Gosh darn me. What am I doing? One year, six months, and 23 days. I was just guessing there. That's the end of the final round. What a useless score. Uh, huh? What's wrong with this scoring system? It must be broken. You can't have got that many points. No, 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 no. I declare the win in battle due to a faulty equipment. Oh, dear. So what happens now? Hmm, I don't know. Any ideas? You could escape in a cowardly fashion like Banjo-Kazooie before we kick your pony butt. 
Yes, I could. Thanks, Birdlane. Unfortunately, I have to pull a rocket to my boots for the very reason. I'll be waiting for you at the top of the last time, but this time you'll be the ones taking the fall. Heh! <laughs> ha! You seem to have a run of luck, and somehow won. I bet you won't dare try again. Heh! <laughs> I've never seen that before. She just launches, and then she lands right back down. It's like, what? Well, I don't know how long this video is going to end up being for me. So if this ends up being a really long one, then I'm actually going to end it here. And I will just do, I'll end up having to do Banjo-Kazooie and Donkey Kong 64 separately. And, in, and that's instead of doing this game and Banjo-Kazooie instead. If this video ends up being longer than an hour. But if it ended up being a bit shorter than an hour, even if it's 56 minutes or 58 minutes, I'm still going to be, be doing Banjo-Kazooie. So, it, that's just dependent on what happens. But I'm betting I have a lot to edit because of the shootouts, most of all. Oh, I thought I saw one. I don't want to give up yet, but I think I have to quit and try again. This is why I hate this minigame. It's ridiculous for trying to find all these things. Yeah, screw it. <sighs> I was hoping I wouldn't have to freaking edit. Yeah, screw it. <sighs> I'll do it again. How am I not finding these freaking TNTs? They, they shouldn't even be that hard to find. Oh, there's one. I would have failed at this time. Yep, I'm giving up. Gosh darn it, I had one left. I thought I was doing well. What the heck? I'm hearing it from the left side. What am I missing? Why did it freaking lie to me? I swear I heard from the left side and when I went there, there was nothing. From down below? No. Over here? Nope. This is what I don't get. I hear it, but I don't see it. It's just dumb. It's like it's invisible. My head is already hurting. This is insane. Yeah, apparently I am I am going to pick, pick this as my second least favorite because what the heck? I should have been done by now. This is insane. I thought I did I thought this was going to be easy. Can I freaking find one dynamite? I've only found half within 130 freaking seconds! Well, lose my mind. Why am I not On. Where is it? I was so close! 130 seconds and I found every one of them but one. Why? Is it so painful to find? This is stupid! That was the worst one yet! Yep, this is the way out. I'm sorry guys. All of that for nothing. I mean... I'm just gonna say this is my second least favorite video game, and I can't even find it. Cannot even find it. No matter how hard I try. My word, what the heck is wrong with my aim? I'm definitely doing this again in order to beat 51. 
Oh dang it, I shouldn't even have aimed there. Nope, I'm not gonna exit. Come on! This is dumb! Oh, they're just teaming up against me. 